Hey folks, we're live. Some slight technical difficulties in the vessel department are delaying our actual start. Uh, very Gary, briefly. Gary keeps downloading modules he should. It's well. yeah, I keep installing everything. That's the problem. And uh, keep screwing this up. So I will take the blame for this one. Let's see here. He updated that six days later. So maybe that's it. Compatibility is still 3.27. Let, let me just download the latest version. Uh, 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 winner. Save. All right. Take a bit. Okay. Then let me... Just gonna load up Vassal. And let me remove 2.05. And actually thinking about it, didn't Alan say that he had added some kind of markers in this particular, in that update? Yeah, I, I don't think he know. had. So let me remove this. Now let me close this. Now let me go back to the folder. And let me delete this. And now I got to load the module like it's brand spanking new. When who knows, maybe we should have been on six. I just don't like whenever I see bad data, I'm not a happy camper. All right, so look for a game online. I'm gonna go join your room again. You want you want to load your save? No, 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 no. Oh, oh is your save closed? I closed it, yeah. All right, go ahead, load your save. All right. Go ahead, load your save. And start a new room. And see if that will stay in this room if it works. It, it probably won't. It, do, it doesn't like doing that. Um, it's open on my side, so if it's not open for you, I'll start a new room. And I'm, we're still getting the bad data thing. All right. I'm going to all start all a new right. room. All right, let me try the new room. It might not, you know, it might not do anything, but who knows? All right. Waiting for game, and now I got sync complete, and I'm not getting a bad data, but I don't trust it. But I, I don't, I'm not seeing anything weird. The only thing we were looking at is, let's see, markers, stuff that he added for us. Um. Markers. Fatigue. Not long he short. Added, Thanks for stopping by. He added fatigue if we needed to use it, so that's in there. And let me okay. look at the union. I want to make sure you've got Johnson in your AMs. That's the big. Yes. The big problem. well, it'd be a big problem if it if he wasn't because Johnson's on the board. <laughs> so right, where where is that under? It's under they, AMs and EMs, and then under okay. Union AMs, it's the sixth. They're not in alphabetical order for reasons Got known it. only and, to man and God. Yeah, and this but, has Johnson. This has Johnson. Yeah. All right, so we're we're ready to keep going. All yeah, right, cool, we're good. Cool, cool. All right, All and right. we're in the middle. If you uh, if you recall, we're in the middle of the turn ten action phase. I'm going to draw. I'm going to pull an AM. Here we go. Boom. Flip. Withers. Mr. Withers. Withers gets a second activation. Okay. So this is... You and I kind of talked about this offline the last time we played. Mm -hmm. I may end up doing a leapfrog here. Because my attack, guys, you're a little too far away for me to be attacking with the two brigades I have under attack. But I've got another two brigades that are under advance. So that might just be the thing to do here. 
in these cedars and woods. But they can't become a they they can't move to be adjacent. In no, advance. But they can get, but they can get forward. Yes, and that's yeah. So six. So we'll start with many go, and then two, four, six. Six. And we might get a little fire in that little clearing there with that one guy. And is that it for many go? Green many go? Let, let me do a little personal. All right. So many go has many gone. So there he is. And he has just shown up and gotten a little bit of line of sight. Mm -hmm. You see there in that little... Uh, yeah, one he clear could, hexer. He could see the 64th Ohio, but he's in advance, and he cannot both move and fire in advance C orders. Correct. So that's that. And now we're going Nor to did I have a, a uh, withdrawal fire shot at you, by the way. So Right, right, because we just appeared out of the woods. Yeah. And I think, yeah, we're just in range because it's still dawn. So it's just like, in any case, so... Kind of the same thing happens there with uh, a little bit of Chalmers action. Let me send out the tweet since I haven't done that. Next. And then the, the back row. Being under attack orders is going to just move up one. So these guys are going to can actually go one, three, and these guys can actually go one, two, three to there. And this is, so you got these neat echelons, you know, you're, you're advancing the whole division. This is when the brigade tactic starts to kick in, right? You start mm -hmm. to alter to the, so this is one, two, so these guys under attack are able to get a little closer and these guys are just going to go two two wow I could actually pull off a little with Loomis, I might be able to actually pull off on a, a little bit of an attack here with Withers. Let me see. Do I want to do that? Because that's one. No, he won't be able to. Now those guys, because we're talking roads, and that guy's on the road. We're just going to move up. And Mr. Withers himself is going to stay there kind of close with everybody. But I think Mr. Withers is going to go over here. Doesn't that sound like, like a bad sitcom character name? Mr. Uh, Withers? Yeah. Oh, uh, and yeah, when we did all this move in, we're going to do that. That's actually what's going to happen. Because we're going to keep that there. And Mr. Withers is going to go there. And got an attack order yeah two attack orders for that brigade and however i do have some firing i'm going to be doing with this some of this artillery over here okay that does no they they can't see you so it does not matter so let's see all depends on what orders the brigades are under so blue no green is slow so these guys can go two four six actually they can't shoot because they're under advance orders and that's them and then we also have many goes green 
So that's two, four, six. And then these guys can just go two, and these guys are going to go two and change facing. Plonk one. Counter. Thus moves Mr. Withers. Go ahead and draw. Let me get rid of the, all these move stringies. All right. right. Next is McCown. McCown. So, what to do? What to do? I think I'm going to pass. Let me look at them. I moved him to my little pass section, but let me just. I think I've only got one guy who can fire with McCown. Two guys, actually, and, but the artillery is on top, and we've only got one target, which is your artillery battery. So McCown is indeed going to take this action. Why not? And so let me move that here. And so we're going to shoot at your... Um, our artillery is going to shoot at your low ammo artillery there. Okay. Closest guy. All right, so... so Two, uh, he's not in terrain, but there's that minus two, right? Or ranges beyond adjacent, uh, Correct. and that's probably it. We are a we are a 12 inch howitzer firing canister, 12 inch howitzer firing canister, two hexes is plus three, and it's on the small arms table, so it's a net plus one then. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. A four. Okay, so that's a four. You have how many factors are you firing? Six. Okay, so you're firing. Uh, f goes up to four, so that's a little d. Let's roll the little d, and he makes it. Okay, that is it for McCown. And I guess I'll draw. I can see it's a uh, ghostly red, which means Confederates again. It's okay. We we kind of remember it was Confederate galore. Yeah, and then I drew start. about uh, I think three or four Union in a row. It's Wheeler. Wheeler, interesting. What is Wheeler doing? Is Wheeler uh, is Wheeler's assets all in one place now? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, they are. The question is, what am I going to do with Wheeler? I've got two of his brigades under attack orders. But moving up isn't going to... Well, I even forget how many chits they have. Yeah, we're going to activate. So here we go. Two, four, six... Okay, bear in mind actually, that it's, if it's you are actually, mounted cavalry, the strength we're, point stacking is seven strength points. We're dismounted, actually. Okay. I, if I need to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Everybody's we, we need to change, uh, we need to look at that then because the numbers on the counters uh, can be different. Let's, cavalry. let's look at that real quick. It's not There's it. a charge, blown, clear reset, there's no way to really... I'm looking to see if there's any options for them. It doesn't look like it. Like, to make them... You know what I mean? Counter-wise, turn them into dismounted. Uh, there there's, might... there's, there's, there's actually different counters. You actually okay. have to change the counters out. So let's let's take this... Uh, uh, well, let's grab this guy right here. Uh, Eighth Texas. Okay. So... Trying to find him. Yeah, see, mounted, they're, um, 
efficiency, their cohesion is seven, but dismounted, they're a six. So, right. And here's the the counter. That's so the that, that's the that's mounted. My, so hold on, hold on. That's the mounted. That's right. The, this is the dismounted. What I, right. What I have out there is dismounted. If you look at them all, because they don't have an M. They're mounted. That's what that means. Oh, oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. The so M is the, the is that they're they're using muskets. Okay, so you're telling me I got to pull out completely different counters for all these. Correct. Guys. Yes, right. because all the right. numbers are different. The fire, the the strength points is probably uh, the same, but the efficiency or whatever it's called is, is probably lower if they dismount, especially for yeah. you know like cavalry that's at this particular confederate cavalry at this particular time because yeah, they didn't great. typically dismount i'm gonna have to do all these facing changes oh, Jesus yes Christ. it's a pain in the nuts he really needs to just have a function for a right click that. function for that function. yes i agree that's something that uh would be very helpful so let me go in here this almost makes me want to pass with all right, so... Blue Tweezers, thanks for stopping by. Oh, my God. <laughs> what sucks about them is they're not labeled. It's like Wheeler 1. We okay, so Wheeler 1, Buford 1. All right, so let me go with this. This, this, this actually might not be so hard. All right, Wharton there's a oh my god and well there's it's so not much info, yeah there's it, so much info crammed onto the counters that it's like insane all right regiment i don't really on. think the counters are all that cluttered however i will say that in the vassal module it's very hard for me to read the unit designations even zoomed all the way in right so that's got to be... So Wing Leader is a fairly interesting game. I've played it once. Um, and I wasn't crazy about it, but I, I feel like it's one of those games that there's, there's a quite good game there, and I just didn't manage to stumble across it in my one session of fumbling around with it. And unlike everything else, he doesn't have it like one Alabama or whatever. It's like Regiment 1. Yeah. You know? So, you know, in terms of the listing of what you're trying to, pull. yeah, it's 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 goofy. That's a that's actually a problem with a lot of the older games in the series. That's something you sometimes see in the setup instructions as well. Um, we noticed it in Three Days of Gettysburg. When I, when we played Three Days of Gettysburg, we played the third edition, which is the latest edition. And there are it's not like there's no changes between the third edition and the earlier editions. There were. It's you know almost considered a different game. Um, and there's still a significant amount of trouble with that, that, that setup instruction and order of arrival is more trouble than it should be. And that's also true in this one, but I think a little bit less so. So that's them. So that's them. All right. We've got these guys who are the they're like an eight six nine. I can't even read their designation. Yeah, that's them. I think there's another Wing Leader product that just came out, actually. Now, the only one of... I'm not sure it's it's who the designer is, actually, but the, it's the, the Lee Brimacum Wood uh, operate, more operational air system from downtown and a couple other games. Elusive Victory is another one, and... Uh, what there's a World War One one, 
Bloody April, which I, I disapprove of the title, but because uh, there already was a game called Bloody April that was not about World War I aircraft. But uh, the only one I have of the series is Red Storm. And that's just because it's... I wanted one of them, and it was the, the topic of that I found the most interesting of the topics available. Other than the um, the World War One one actually would kind of be interesting, but I can't find that anymore. That's another... Um, that Clash of Arms, Wings of the Motherland, or Wings Over the Motherland, or whatever it's called, is another one I haven't looked at at all. Um, my it, it just so happens that my Clash of Arms library has grown by a decent amount in the last week or two and is there's a couple more coming too second georgia and third georgia uh, error games is something i've never really been particularly into But even the um, even the operational ones, uh, I think have a they're a, they're a little too tactical. Um, from what I've played of Red Storm, um, I, I kind of wanted it to be more operational and a little less tactical. I mean, you, it's pretty tactical. I mean, you've got to move individual flights of planes around and and maintain you know keep track of facing and you know other stuff like that and it's it it feels more tactical than i expected it to there's an expansion coming for that at some point as well which i have not ordered at this time pretty, speaking of pretty box that last stand from multi-man that i think is the next thing in their pipeline actually um that's an attractive box And I got... I remember being insufficiently interested in the game to order it, but uh, but the box is very pretty. Just gonna have these guys be dismounted, I think. No, no, we're gonna be in Rangers, and I gotta do everybody. Alright. There, and then these guys get deleted. Delete. Chuckleheads. I could wait to dismount those other guys if I, well, they're under attack. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm making a decision about logistics here. Okay. I think these guys, I'm not going to dis. When do you mount and dismount? Just part of an activation. It's in. Yeah, it's in your movement. Um, let me. Uh pull it up exactly hold on it's in here hold on all right so essentially you um mount or dismount at, at the very beginning of your activation, before you move, right, you cannot be adjacent, um, right. and it costs half the movement of the new status, whatever the right. new status is. Right, which well, I'm glad I'm moving these guys like they're 
artillery since you six. All right, yeah, I'm gonna end up dismounting all these guys. Let me just do up two four, six. Two four, six. Yeah, we can be a little more concentrated. I don't want to be strung out like this. We're back here. And Pegram is not dismounted. His little tiny ass three man division. All right, or brigade or whatever it is. Okay, so now let me pull these guys out. So that is... I know that uh, Ariete from Multiman, the latest and hopefully not the last in the tactical combat series, um, has... Uh, started arriving in people's mailboxes. I unfortunately had to cancel the order for it just because I didn't want to spend the money right now. Given the, you know, what's going on. Then I went and spent the money on eBay instead. So it was, you know, so it's bullshit, but... The good news is a lot of old Avalon Hill games, not all of them, but a lot of them were printed in enormous quantities, especially by today's standards, and remained in print for eons and are therefore really cheap um, as long as you, and, and common on eBay. You could a lot of times get uh, nicely kept punched and sometimes even unpunched copies of whatever you want from Avalon Hill for under $20. Those are exceptions, of course. You're not going to get uh, the longest day for that, but. That is the price you pay, Mr. Tweezers, for living in a civilized country. That is the something Alabama. I think I don't have anything in the current, the currently shipping GMT batch of stuff, uh, but I do for their third batch, uh, which is Storm Over Asia. So that's that's uh, going to be on its way to me at some point. I find that it typically takes, uh, fr from the time I am charged, I, it typically takes uh, about a month for me to get something from GMT. It's not like it's getting played right now, so. That is not anything like a problem. Yeah, Cellar Horizons is big. I, I like it a lot. Um, there is a, a talk of an expansion for it as well now. Uh, it is, if if not already sold out, it is very, very close to being sold out. Uh, apparently it has done extremely well for Compass, um, which is great. Um, I like it a lot. I think the rule book certainly could be better, but it's not the most disastrously bad rule book I've ever seen by any possible means so uh, and I like the game quite a bit that said I really want to see a vaso module for it because it's it's I, I I literally don't have the space to set the thing up it takes it's very space hungry 
And I know a vassal module is being worked on, but last I checked, it was not available generally yet. And actually, it's the kind of game that I think would work okay in Tabletop Simulator. Well, he has screwed this one up. The values are completely wrong. All right, so there's going to be a guy who's going to be here who's going to be mounted. And what we're going to have to do is just subtract one and know it from his organization level. Okay. Because it's just a completely ass... Maybe? It's like a different unit. It's it's just a wrong dismounted counter. You oh. know, it's like from another fucking brigade. Oh. So, right, like, so here. So I'm just going to... So this guy here... Mm-hmm. We don't have a value, so I'm just All going right. to assume we're going to move their organization down one. You dig right. me? Yeah, and movement down three. That's yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. got to do. That's what we got to do. And Zemo, then... I would love to do uh, some video on a world at war. Um, that uh, it, that's another thing that space. It's it's hard for me to find the space to set that up. Now there are small scenarios in it, but you're really not getting the uh, world at war experience. Yes. In, say, the North Africa scenario. When Bruce Harper went crazy, that's when I stopped buying <laughs> his games. Right. And refused to play them ever again. So, yeah. I'm, um, I, yeah. I, I don't AWA. I'll advance the Reich somebody, but I ain't going to AWA. You know, to, you know when, you, when you've got a five-page, uh, uh, what is it? A, I, I own it. What, a three- to four-page rule on Gibraltar? You got problems. Well, yeah, there's all kinds of weird little corners of the. I mean, that's why it's a 200, what, 230 page rule book, something like that, right. in the current edition. I am more inclined to do video on uh, World in Flames, to be honest, uh, because I think just uh, the space necessary for World in Flames is smaller. He's a crazy person, too. You're into the crazy person games. Man. Well, I like the. I love crazy people. Um okay. Alabama with is highly playable though I mean it's 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 got about a 60 page rule book which is not a short rule book right but it's 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 by no means def I think it's a little longer than 60 pages actually but but a lot of it is like expansion stuff that you don't necessarily need so they're they're what I call way of life games and because I play you know I was an extensive whiff player for years and I just don't have time for way of life games you know, I want to play many games, not like dedicate my whole life to like with that right? is and, a and fair that's what I do. And yeah, you know, and have that be what I do and how, you know, and th and that's it. And a world that war became that third right. And that's what bugs me is advanced third right back. You know, when, you know, that period before it became a world at war, advanced third Reich and rising sun. It didn't have to be your way of life. You know, to play it and play it effectively. You know, it was still like a game. You know, you could throw down and play this strategic game. You know, you'd have to play it for a while. You know, with, you know, because of, you know, his his endless expansions, etc., you know, became way of life. And then, you know, Bruce just, Bruce's idea is like, just add more Chrome. That's what you do in every version, right? Add more stuff. You know, more rules. Instead, you know, instead of like, well, maybe, you know, maybe what I've got is enough and what I need to refine but that's never the answer with that. All right. Now, I am I'm good. perfectly happy to ignore the expansions in WIF, too. So, um, all right. So. Oh, yeah. All right. So that's it. Um, uh, Wheeler did move. Let me make sure his shit's where it should be. All right. That's it. All right. They moved, they moved forward, and now you can go ahead and draw. Cleburne. Hmm. It's Confederate Rama now. Well, I believe this is going to be Claiborne's second activation, so I think I think we absolutely have to do something. So let's let's go back to our main brouhaha over here and see what's going down. Uh, right. So I have also been watching Steve's uh, playthroughs as well. That's all. Uh, every video is a long watch, though. Which, but I'm cool with that. So let's see here. First brigade we're going to activate is going to be we 
as your leader. Polk, which is at the far right end of that attacking column. And Polk ain't going to shoot. Polk is just going to do close combat. Okay, so they, so you're, we're going to claim the charge bonus then. Right. All right it's, so. you, you see, it's these two stacks. But like next to this attack marker, those two stacks is like Polk all, you know, punched up there adjacent to you. Yeah. All right. So who's going to go, uh, which, which stack is going first? Um, the stack with Polk is going to plow into, um, is Well, that... he's got to attack both. He has to attack everybody in his front. So everybody he's going to have to attack front. both of those hexes. Yes. So I'm wondering if I want to do this just as like a multi-brigade combat and attack everybody. Or do you have to do it stack by stack? You have to do it stack by stack. All right. So and he's, you just pick, he's got, pick one end to start at and, and he's, just he's, move on down the he, line. He's got, so Polk's going to start. Okay. Uh, let's stack with Polk. Okay. All right. So he's got... All right. So let's actually follow the process. So we've determined the targets. Uh, we'll retreat before shock if necessary. Let's actually look at that this time. 11.33. Um... All right. Infantry or dismounted cavalry, move one hex. Uh, non phasing infantry, about to be shock attacked me. Retreat before shock. I could retreat with the one. So here's my question is you're actually hitting one of those two units from the flank. Does that mean you get the flank bonus mm, it will say in the rules let me see i'm gonna control f flank bonus. flank bonus no matches were found so let's try flank and then there'll be a hundred of them There's a hundred of them. Come on. Best case for DRM for the defender applies. So, yeah, but there's a whole section in here that deeply describes um, flank. I'm some reading paper. I should compare this concepts with Position benefits only the attacker and refers to whether the attacker is in shock attacking through the defender's flank or rear hexes. When shocking from uh, uh, from only the front and the rear, the shocks are are necessarily separate unless the target unit is refused. If separate, apply the plus four DRM to both shot. All right, that's that's if you're going from two directions. So it says position benefits only the attacker and refers to whether the attacker is shock attacking through the defender's flank or rear hexes or co or a combination of front, flank, and or rear. Hmm. Okay. So if you scroll up a little bit to the, right, right, the right. previous page, second column at the bottom, where it says multi-hex attacks use the following guidelines, the second right, to right. last one on that page. Previous page... When there are multiple attacking units with different fatigue, multi. All right, cumulative terrain. Best cumulative terrain for the defender. Um, when units are different are attacking, would have different brigadier. Yeah, best for the defender. Wait, position DRMs for each defending hex are different. Yeah, best for you. Okay, let's go. Okay. All right. All right very good. All right. So, so you won't get that, but you're still going to have a, I think, a slight manpower advantage. You've got uh, eight, you have thirteen. It's going to end up being a one-to-one. -one. Right. Or is it? Because uh, I'll have um, 14, which I think makes it to a one-to-one. A one uh, we're not there yet. Okay, so I'm not going to retreat before shock. Um, okay. Now, I think I can do uh, a rotate. You better look that up. Then. Yeah, well, that, that's going to be in here as well. All right, I'm, I'm going to say no. 
All right, so no retreat from yeah, shock. Green attack of commitment. You're you don't have anybody green, right? Nope, nope. Okay. Nope. Um, defenders pre-shock cohesion check. So I'm going to check for the green unit. Right. And he does not make it. So okay. what happens when he fails? Okay, so he will disorder. We, whoop, he's already disordered. Ooh, that's a problem. Um, all right, so he gets a UDD right there from that. So let's roll and see what happens. Well, there's no other roll. He's already failed the roll. So pre-shot cohesion check fail. I'm gonna now. I'm, I am actually gonna roll another UDD, which he passes. Passes means he loses one strength point and retreats one to two hexes. So what? Oh, if he failed, he would have routed. Oof. Correct. Yeah, which yeah, means yeah. he just he just disappears. I mean, he could come. You, routed units could come back, uh, but so let's see. Right. Here. So he's going to go to seven. Oops. Shift F. And he's going to retreat one or two hexes. So he's going to end up here. All right. And now you're only attacking the one guy who you are getting a flank attack on. He needs to make his pre-shock check, though. And he fails. So he is going to... That's not a second uh, one for him. So he's just going to... He is just going to... Disorder. All right. Okay. So now. That was it, like the worst outcome pre-shock for you. That yeah, was a pretty yeah. terrible outcome. Um, but you know what? I uh, I assume, really, I just assume I will fail every roll. Because it's not, <laughs> it's not far from accurate. So. I love play. I love you, Gary. <laughs> so, so, all right. So, so let, all right. So now we determine odds. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be 13 to six, which will be two to one. So you're at plus two for that. You're hitting from the flank. So that's a plus three for that. You have a, I, is Polk an aggressive leader? I don't think so. He is not. No. Um, and charge bonus. And the charge bonus, so that's a total of a plus six. Go ahead and roll right. your roll your nine. Okay. Oh, that, you did it. I'm just I'm just telling you. You um, made it okay, happen. So defending unit retreats two hexes. All right. So he's going to retreat two hexes. So let's move him back. Um, he is he is so second disorder. What, what was the result? Was it a max out result? Let me yeah. look at the table. All right. All right, all right. It's uh, it's another UDD. So let's try and make that five, which he passes. So he will lose a strength point. Um, wait a minute. Let me check that result. And we'll retreat another one to two hexes. I like the way this game tells you stories, right? So mm -hmm. what happened was, what's that unit that you just retreated? What's their name? That's, this, uh, that's uh, 14th Ohio, something like that. 64th yeah, the, Ohio. The, four, the 14th Ohio basically got screwed over by the green guys. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, that's what happened. Right. All right. So you must advance and you must continue shock. Boom. Okay. So let's continue shock. Um, okay. We're not going to retreat before shock. I, I really need to look this rotation thing up because I don't know that I can actually do this. It kind of doesn't make sense because then it's like you never get hit in the flank. If you know what I mean. No.
9.61. That's what this is. All right. Reaction facing change. Non-phasing combat unit may refuse to change facing in reaction to movement by or fire from an enemy unit. Any enemy unit or advance into a hex adjacent may trigger a refusal or facing change. Enemy fire from a hex... Okay, that could do it too. Um, you know, may only do one, do it once, and you they do a UDD. So we're going to do UDD for the 73rd Indiana. And they, fix, they succeed. All right, so they will rotate one vertex. And, you, and it's only one vertex. And had they right. failed, they would not just have failed, but be, have become disordered. Okay. Okay. So now okay. So, you do your pre-shock checks. Yes. Now, you don't have any green, green attacker first, but let's do this guy first. He fails. Let's do this guy. He right. passes. Okay. All right. So pre-shock fire. That's going to be seven factors. So what happens to the guy who failed? Nothing, because he wasn't already disordered. Well, he's disordered now. But okay. that's that's what happens to him. Um, all right. So uh, this guy's using old rifles uh, at adjacent. So that's worth a plus one. You are coming. Are you in the woods? I believe I am. You are in the woods. So that's a minus two. So we're at a net minus two. Um. I can claim the prepared fire bonus here. I can actually still shoot with the other guy, too. So we'll do that first. We'll do that next. But this guy's shooting now. So it's seven factors. Oh, well, hey, that's actually good. So seven even is one big D. Oh, and don't forget the uh, modifier for it being Dawn. They're adjacent. There is no modifier for that. Ah, uh, right, right. So, all right. So what'd you roll? One big what D. Are... One big D. Top right, unit so they... loses one, rolls uh -huh. a big D, and Polk, who's with them, makes a check to see if he dies. So let's do the check. You look it up. <clears throat> I rolled a nine. Probably not Let good. me check it again. Um, because they ch actually, they changed that. Uh, it used to be um, that it was a nine. It is not anymore. If it's a zero, then he's killed. So he's fine. All right. So you do, however, um, lose one step off the top unit, disorder him, and now he doesn't participate in the shock. Uh, that's not good. All right. So let me flip him. Put him back. Hulk back. Get rid of all this spaghetti. And... Uh... By the way, we forgot the terrain modifier on the last shock resolution roll, but you rolled so high it doesn't matter. Put them in the right hex. All right. All right, so that's that. So your second guy fires now. Second guy fires. Okay, so this is it's exactly the same thing. Um, except it's a one. <laughs> All right. Uh, one is a D minus two. So give me a D minus two from the top unit. And we got a leader there too. So and yeah, so he'll add plus one. Or, well, he'll be minus one to the roll. Yeah. So it's a net. Four. He's fine. Okay, so he's fine. All right, so now we do the sh uh, now we do the shock. Okay. Oh, and there was a minus one there for for him being for that firer being disordered that I forgot to take into account, but it turned out to be nothing. All right, so now we have eight against fifteen, which is going to go. It's going to go down to one to two. Okay. Um, you are not hitting anybody in the rear, you, nor do you have an... Uh, you do get... Uh, do you still get the charge? That's a good question. Let me look at that. The plus one DRM does not carry over to continued shock. Okay. All right. 11 here one. 
All right, so I'm seeing a total of minus two, and then the woods modifier is a minus one. So that's a minus three on this roll. Here we go. Two. Both sides are disordered. Everybody's okay. disordered. However, that does mean that this guy has a second disorder. So he needs to uh, UDD, which he passes. <laughs> but passing means that he will let me verify that it is what I think it is. Lose an SP and retreat one to two. So he'll go back one. Oops, to there. All right. All right. Now well, it's that... the next stack. Right. So we've got twelve against eleven. Okay. All right. So um, we'll do pre. Uh, we'll do. Retreat before shock, which we won't do. Um, we'll do pre-shock cohesion. Top unit first. He's fine. Do I need to do it for the whole stack or just the... Uh, let me check that. Nope. Top unit conducts it. So the whole okay. stack does not have to do it. All right. Uh, so now we do reaction fire. We have rifles here. Rifles at one hex is plus one. Uh, no terrain. It's just a pl seven plus one. Six, because you've only got six in the top stack. That's not true. seven. That's, I see what you're saying. That's true. All right. So that's a five, six. Um. That's a D plus two. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Six. They're fine. Barely, but fine. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go to um, the actual shock. And you're going to be at, you say it's 12 to 13? 12 to 11. Okay. So you'll be, at, it's, it'll be one to one. Um, no leader. I think this we is just completely straight up. We get the we do get the charge. We do bonus. get the charge bonus, so that's worth a plus one. No defenders are disordered. All right, so roll it. It's plus one. A nine. <laughs> All right, defending it retreats one hex and is disordered. Uh, attacker must continue shock. All right, so we're going to have to retreat through here. So we're have to ret we're going to Okay. Now you're going to move up and right. then you must continue shock. We shall. So basically so if if you it's it's must if you end up with an adjusted 8 or more on that roll. You got to do it. So, okay. All right. So, uh, let's see what we have here. We have uh, two units in your, oh, three units in your front. So, nobody's going to retreat. Uh, we'll do pre-shock cohesion. So, this uh, disordered guy will do it first. He makes it, thank God. Um, the guys Everybody under wood disordered. don't, they fail. All right, so we get pre-shock fire. So this one's good. This first hex is going to be. What happens to the guys who failed? They become disordered. Oh, they. I thought they were already. Yeah, you the, just this guy. This guy. No, no. This guy is. This guy is right. disordered. He, but he passed. Right. The guys those other under guy, those wood. other guys. Right. You oh. just. You okay. just undisordered them. Okay. Yes. Well, then they. Uh, hold on, then. 
All right, so now they'll roll individually. So this guy will pass, which means he loses one. And it'll retreat one to two hexes, which I'll do at the same time. So give me a minute here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Next guy down is. All right. Let's roll for wood. Wood does not die, and we'll retreat. Uh, bottom guy. Okay. What did oh, I roll for the... Uh, you didn't roll anything for the second guy. What did I roll for the pre-shock check? The eight. Yeah. Hold on. Still not enough. Minus two to the roll, because wood was in the hex. Right. That's still not enough. Like I said. All right. So, uh, all right, so you'll still have an attack. Um, I will have a pre-shock fire or a pre-shock fire out of the hex that Crittenden is in. Right. Uh, it's going to be seven factors at minus one, but plus one for rifle, so seven factors straight up. Um, that's a little D. Let's see. He made it. Okay. All right. So now you have twelve against seven, which will be one and a half. Uh, uh, one and a half to one, three to right. two. So you're at a plus one, plus one for the charge. And that's no, yeah. no. The charge doesn't. Con the charge does not continue. This oh, was is, this a I'm, continue? Right. Okay. All right, right. So it's just a plus one then. Just a plus one. No bonus for you being disordered or anything. Oh no no no. That's true. Yeah uh, uh, yeah. It's another plus one for that. So it's plus two. Here we go. A nine. Okay. Defending unit retreats two hexes is disordered. All right, so we'll make uh, let me break this up here. We'll make a UDD, which he will pass only because Crittenden is there. Right. So he will lose another. We'll lose another strength point. Let's see if Crittenden dies. Yep. Oh. Okay. Palmer is now the boss man. Yep. Okay. And he'll retreat one to two hexes. Crittenden's not that big a loss, though. Let's get real. Palmer's not better, though, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. move, Keep moving. you got to continue. Uh, wow. All right. So, well, you were there, so that's where i got to go. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll roll for the disordered guy first. Everybody there is disordered. The whole world. These are all, all right, guys. Well, who roll for roll yeah. for this guy first. Passes. Roll for this guy next. Passes. Uh, all right. They, Free shock I, fire. Um. Oh, we can do a reaction. Oh, we can do. Let's uh try a reaction. React on the artillery here. Okay. Yeah. That's It was disordered. Right. Okay. Oh, he was already disordered. Yep. All right. So he actually couldn't do that then. You can't do that if you're already disordered. Um. All right. So pre-shock fire. Seven plus one. It's going to be seven plus one from both hexes. It is. Well, six. Plus, it's the same column. All right, first one is a four, five. Uh, that's a D plus one. Top unit takes a D plus one. They're fine. Okay, this guy, low ammos. The green guy. Oh, does, that was that did he, does the green guy get some sort of bonus to his pre-shock uh. check? 
No. But he was at a minus one, actually, for being green, too. The result wasn't anything, so I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. But there's two modifiers that I forgot to take into account there. All right, so this is uh, six rifles plus one for adjacent, but minus one because they're disordered. So that's another four. That's a little D. Top unit takes a little D. We're fine. Okay. Okay. So now you are going to be with your 12 uh, up against 7 plus 11 is 18. This is not good. This is so a one you're to two. My, uh, one to one and a half. Oh, no. It's uh, minus two because it rounds in the defender's favor. So it's, it's minus two. Um, but it is plus one because defenders are disordered. Anything, any green bonus or anything? Not for this, no. Okay, so it's a, so the net is a minus one. The net is a minus one. Here we go. That's bad. Okay. Attacker retreats one hex and is disordered. And that, that is, the whole hex is disordered. The defender may use shock continuation, which I think we won't do. Yeah, I wouldn't. If I, if I were you, I wouldn't do it. Sorry. Wow. Well, that was an eventful shock All right. by that I'm, brigade. I'm going to try to... I, I, I can't do it with that with that efficiency. Um, so, oh yeah, that kept that kept going. That's got, but look what you caved in half the line. So, I th yeah, I, I mean, I came out of it really disordered, but it's my second attack. That that you know? ends up hap That's what ends up happening though. Is right at the end, chances are pretty good that everybody ends up disordered. But I feel I think what I did was the right move. Let's oh yeah, I think so. All right, so now let's see who's next up on the line. We're gonna activate um well it's replacement leader, but it's uh, the red brigade. The red brigade. So it's gonna translate into make sure I'm not that's the wrong brigade. All right, let's see here. H tuna, that's a fantastic, uh, fantastic move there. The Red Brigade. I think we might pull back, actually. Or away. I think there's a better way to put that. I think... Uh... Blue Tweezers is right when he says you can't turn if somebody's to your immediate front, but nobody succeeded in turning anyway, so it didn't even matter. Yeah, all right. They're going to go there. These guys are going to go one, two, four. All right. So these guys just like in in terms of like your frontages just kind of show up and surprise you, you know they're they're they're, they're not you follow what I'm saying they're not coming out of a a, a a hex you know what I mean where you can shoot right they're ending their move there and they're gonna shoot at the green guys in front of them. Okay, so you're talking okay that yeah that eight factor unit is just gonna shoot at the green guys in your kind of your second line. There. All right, so you're shooting with rifles, so it's gonna be plus one. Um, and that's it. All right, here we go. Uh, let's, let me check something. No. All right. You rolled a, uh, so you rolled a four and you're Correct. seven factors. So that's a little D. So that's this guy. Let's see what happens. He fails because it's just what happens. Well, he's um, green he's and disordered. Disorder. And... Yeah, 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 yeah. So he will make another UDD at this time, which he fails. He will route. All right. All right. He's coming out of Woods unit. He just goes away. Uh, you m go ahead. And, uh, well, that was a fire, actually. Right. Yeah, All we right. did not shock. That's right. fine. Uh, let me check, make sure that that second disorder is the same. No, it's not, actually. Um, all you right, don't so route. he's here. 
So what he, what right. happens is he loses a strength point and retreats one to two hexes. Yeah, I can do it. Six. Boom. So the big disrupted fatty show, shows up there. Mm -hmm. Talking in terms of line of sight, right? Mm -hmm. Boop, pops out. And they're going to open fire on your disrupted artillery sitting there. Okay. So we got rifles. We're shooting seven. Yeah. yeah it's plus, plus, so it's plus one for, for Jason. Right. And that's it. Here we go. Not much. A three. Net. It's a little D. Which they actually pass. Right. And I believe they could return fire. Uh, they can, actually. That's true. Um, no, they can't. They're disabled. They're disordered. Uh, however, uh, the the bottom unit that's under him can return fire. But does, it, does he have to be on top? Uh, I don't know about all that. In order to return... I thought the top guy... Like, you can't fire with the bottom guy's... I don't know. Uh, let me check something. Like that, like that's why it was important. Yeah, no, you're right. All right, All right. so. Yeah, forget it. All right, that is it for what I'm calling now the Red Brigade. Okay, so, well, no, I do have these guys here, but they're all, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. All right, so now for the Blue Brigade, which is Johnston. All right. I don't want to do that. Sorry, sorry. Let me undo some of these moves. All right. Uh, I think that's oh boy. They're a tough. This brigade is a tough brigade. There's just a lot of stuff. There's a lot of staying power to them. This Johnson's brigade. All right. So Johnson's brigade moves to the front there, and what mm -hmm. we're going to do is no fire. We're going to do a shock attack on the guys in front of us. Okay. All right, so pre-shock cohesion. They're both uh, both these stacks are currently not disordered. Right. So here's two failures. Right. That's a success. Only, only that's one a... failure. 
All right. Okay. They will both shoot back. So seven plus one for the first one. That's an eight. That's actually a good attack. Good, sh a good shot. That is rifles, right? Yeah. Most of this Union army is rifles. Uh, that's a one D plus two. Okay. So here we go. They're going to take a loss. Mm -hmm. Which means Johnson, you have to roll to see if Johnson dies before you make the check. So what is the, oh, by the way, what's the it's thing? A zero. to if he rolls no, zero, he no, does. no, that's not it. What's to move the the losses counter down? What is it? Shift what? Uh, to move it down, it's Control Shift F. Oh, that's wow. Yeah, All I'm, right, I'm not really happy with hotkeys in this module. The Control period and uh, comma yeah, for rotation right. is actually good, but uh, it's like there's 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 like Alt hotkeys, Control hotkeys. Control shift hotkeys, shift hotkeys. It's it's crazy. So here we all right. So I've got to make a check plus one, but I have Johnson. You check so to see if Johnson dies first. All right. So let's see if he dies. No, he does not. Okay. So it's a so D now plus we're gonna do the two. check. Right. Then these guys have an eight, which is outstanding. Yes. Right. And uh, Johnson's there. So let's see what happens. They okay, pass. So he's fine. It's, Okay. Now your now now your second guy there failed. Yes, he You're can still, Well, he's that so he was not disordered before that. He can still fire, but he's at minus one because he's disordered now. Got it. Okay. So it's a straight up roll with a five, which means he's low ammo. So I'll use Alt X to give him that, and it's a uh, D plus one. Okay. Here we go. They barely made it, it but just because Johnson's there. Okay. So that's that, and now it's shock time east. Okay, so you're at 10 to 16, which will round down to 1 to 2, so that's a minus 2. Um, you Char did not shoot, right? So you're charging. Nope. So hmm? Yeah, correct. So it's a plus 1. Uh, is Johnson aggressive? He is, so that's another plus 1. Um, and that's it. It's a straight so, up roll. Here we go. That's a bad roll. Okay. Attacker retreats one hex and is disordered. Okay. Disorder flip. All right. Now for the second shock attack, which is the 13 guys against the seven. These guys. Okay. Okay. So let's pre-shock cohesion, which they pass. The shot, which will be plus one. Pretty sure that's nothing. <clears throat> it's not, actually. It's a D minus two, though, which means you're probably... Just you can't, barely you made can't it. Fa you can't fail it. Um, even with a nine, you pass. So, uh, all right, so now we got 13 to 7, which will be 3 to 2. Uh, so that's a plus 1, and that's it. Charge bonus. Ah, okay, so plus 2. Here we go. A and 9. A 9. So defending unit retreats one hex and is disordered. Uh, he'll have to retreat. No, he can't actually retreat just one. Okay. You move forward and must shock. Here we go. Okay. Pre-shock cohesion, which stunningly I passed. Um, the so shot. Question. Question. When your guy fell back, did he have? Could he go under the artillery, or is he on top? He of can it? go where. It's whenever anybody moves, you can decide whether to put him on top or Got on the it. bottom. Got it. That's fine. That's fine. Continue. Yep, yep. All right, so this is uh, TB. Uh, so that's three-inch rifles. At adjacent is a plus three on the small arms. So let's see what happens. Okay. Ooh, um, that's good. That's gross. Yeah, that's uh, two big D. 
Okay, so two losses. From anybody or the lead unit? The lead Does unit. It... The lead okay. unit takes the loss. Uh, uh, it's a shock. So they're both disordered, but the loss happens to only the top unit. All right. So we got that. They're disordered and they have to fall back. That's right? done. No, they they're stuck there. They they okay. they stay right where they're at. But the shock's over with. Well, that that Flip. shock's over with. End of shock. And then the last guys. Yeah, we're gonna do it. But Claiborne ain't going. Claiborne's gonna move over there with Johnson. I'm not sure there are a fair number of uh, uh, fan-created scenarios. All right, go ahead. These guys here are doing a shock. Moving there and doing a shock. I think because they move, they don't get a charge bonus. But you let me know. They're not firing. Oh no, they get a, they can they can they can get the charge bonus. All right. It's if if they fire, they don't get the charge bonus. Got and it. I have consistently forgotten the prepared fire bonus, which I explicitly get for this, but. Um, all right, so where where is the shock happening here? The, these guys are doing a shock. There's only one place they can do it. Boom. You're nine guys. All right, All right I'm sorry. I, I don't see that you're adjacent. You're talking the hex 3121? No. Are, maybe you're disconnected? Maybe. Maybe I'm disconnected. I'm not disconnected. Although somebody's joined our room, which might cause problems. Uh, we need to lock these. So, yep, that's what happened. Okay. All right. Yeah, we got desynced somehow. All right, we're good now. All right. So, all right. All right. All right. So, uh, pre-shock cohesion, which passes. Okay. The pre-shock fire, which will be a plus one minus one. That's so a good that's roll. Pretty good. That's a one little d plus two. So one loss. What's all that noise? That's the cat. All right. Uh, let me do this. So I did all that. Uh, I sold off a bunch of stuff, and and I've got some boxes sitting here under the table. <laughs> so the cat's like, Ooh, they, look at this. They they I'm barely talking. made. They barely made it. Okay. All right. D plus two. Oh, it was a plus two. They did not make little it. Little D, one little D plus two. So they failed. Okay, it was, I thought it was, I thought it was a plus one. So that's that. That unit is flipped. They're just they they cannot participate. Well, that's no, the, but the but the shock continues. Yeah, because there's another guy there. Right. All right. So you're gonna now shock. Uh, five to nine, which is. One to three. That's a minus three. Plus one for the charge. Plus one because the defender is disordered. So it's a minus one net. All right. Here we go. Well, oh, an eight. Okay. Defending unit retreat, retreats one hex and is disordered, but it is a second disorder, which he passes. He'll retreat through. Um... But the pass will cause a loss. Come on. Hold on here. So we'll go down to eight. Do me a favor, man. Lock our room, would you? When you get a chance. I don't always remember to do that. What, yeah, I mean, lock. my inclination is to not worry about it because I don't think people are going to come in here and monkey with stuff. But it it seems, at least with some modules, it seems to cause the module to flake. Right, which is what just happened. Yeah. You know, All right, yeah. so go ahead and advance. Right. And luckily, we don't have to continue shock, which we really don't oh, want to do now. What did you? What it was your role? It was, your it was role? a net eight. Net eight. Eight or more, you must shock. You must continue eight, shock. Eight or more, I must continue shock. Well, this is going to... This ain't good. Well, I got to make the rolls, though. So let's roll... Try try for this guy. He fails. 
Drive for this guy. The artillery. He, right. he, the, so the artillery fails, but the other guy passes. So we'll take the shot. That's, yeah, we'll take the shot. So it's six up one. That's nine. It's a one big D. One big, what does the big D do? Big D means you're automatically disordered. Okay, so flip. We take another loss. Yeah, and we done. can't. And that ends that. All right. But the artillery failed. So we have to figure out what's going on with that. Remember, it's disordered. You pretty, they, oh, I thought they were already disordered. Not that one. The, the guy, be, the, the artillery behind yeah, it was. I got you. So now let's. So that's that for the blues. And what about over here? Yeah, so a second disorder against artillery in shock is just elimination. <clears throat> oh, they they just die. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do here is... War gamer one, sorry about that. Yeah, we we uh, it's like I said, it, we it's just it's been known to cause problems. Yeah, and not in every module, but no, it, but it, a lot of yeah. times it does. Like like just then where it's like, why I can't see your unit, and if you look at the room and you see that there's an extra person, that's always explanation. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's like the server can't handle. I think it's with more complex modules. It's like the server can't handle the bandwidth of going to three. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, it just. I got to feed him and I got to feed him because it's not like, you know, this is a super professional. Well, it's I, I I'm blaming Java, actually. Well, that could be. So. so, all right. So these guys here in that hex where it does not say where it does not say attack uh -huh. are going to shoot and they are going to shoot at uh, uh, the hex with the artillery and the infantry in it. Okay. So that's going to be Four. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have done this. It is just going to be four. Hold on. These guys are on top. So that's it. All right. Okay. So four, four is shooting, and we've got what rifles, rifles plus plus one. Plus one. Here we go. Ah, nine. Okay. So four at nine is a one little d plus two. So let's see what happens here. They pass, but they do take a step. All right, and then the adjacent hex, where it says attack, that mm -hmm. whole stack is just going to shock. Okay. Okay. All right. So pre uh, pre shock cohesion, which they pass. Pre shock fire will be just set a uh, seven plus one. That probably is a result, but it's a D minus two. Yeah. They're fine. Okay. All right. So now the shock is going to be twelve to eight, which is three to two. So that's worth a plus one. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, that doesn't matter though. All right. So, uh, and they they get the charge. So it's another plus one. Total of plus two, right? Yeah. Go ahead and roll it. Oh, is he aggressive? Let's see. He is you. Which means unaggressive, I'm guessing. Uh, pretty much, yeah. All right, so here we go. So that's a seven. All right, so seven is defending unit retreats one hex and is disordered. I'll have to retreat more hexes than that, though. Wait, which hex was that? Which, which stack was this attack? Was it this one? See the stack that has the attack order oh, on okay, top got of it? it? 
Okay. That's that, right? Yep. You must uh, uh you must move forward, but you don't have to continue shock. I could if I wanted though, right? I don't think so. All right. Um Hold on. I don't think I want to, but let's double check it. Oh, 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 oh okay. So it, this is actually something we missed. So um, it's a may continue shock for continued shock after the first continued shock. Well, I got screwed on that one. Yeah, uh, you kind of right. did. But and you also forced me way back, so. All right, we are, and we can't continue shock down. So that, that's correct. Fine. Yeah, because you had a seven, adjusted that seven. Is, that is over. So let me, yeah, I don't want to think I want to move any of their artillery. They're kind of back on the ridge. That is it. For Claiborne's activation, I, I, I'm wondering if this sh aggressive shocking with him is kind of worth it. I think it was. You're more experienced in the game than I am. No, I, I think I, you should. I think you should have. Uh, my my only concern with the way you've done it is that is is that they have a that that um, division has open flanks. Yeah, so, right. At least one open. Really, it's only one open flank, but uh, so that that could cause problems. But I mean, it's also two hex visibility. So right, yeah. And Breckenridge hasn't moved yet. And yeah, right, yeah, right. And right. and I'm not going to draw any any uh, chits. So you can continue. It's your draw, chit draw, by the way. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Let me do this. Well, this is another. You can always see them when they're ghosts before they get pulled. I'm like, it's red. Yep. All right. So flip. Br Speaking. Of, of Senor Breckenridge. All right. Yeah. So once again, uh, it's been what like, well, it's probably only like three, ch three or four. Ch I think it's about four chits so far. So. Yeah, Breckenridge isn't under attack, but Breckenridge is going to indeed do a second activation for movement. And. Some of those guys, uh, Wargamer 1, are probably still gaming. Still Wargaming, that is. Some of them are probably in cabs and don't play anything but Carcassonne nowadays. But that's, you know, that's on them. They play Carcassonne. I'd be like, what's wrong with you? I think everybody else here is going to step off. The other super duper hardcore local thing that, that we have here, I don't know what's going on right now, given what's going on right now, but is the the 18xx guys. There's like a super hardcore 18xx group. And actually, believe it or not, there's a Twilight Imperium uh, group that meets like once a month. Another thing I noticed with some modules, and I don't know if this is one or not, is that uh, there's no, uh, in some modules, there's no real restrictions placed on the observer. Right. It That just depends on the module. Yeah. Some modules, 
completely lock it, which I prefer. Like, if I was designing, I'd be like, yeah, I'd want yeah, to. because why not? If it's observer, it's observer, right? But you should also have a solitaire. Right. Um, well, it depends. I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem signing in and out. So... All right, Breckenridge, he has moved. Make sure I physically moved Breckenridge. Yes, I did. Okay. All right, it's my drop. Uh, Sheridan. Sheridan's under March. All right. I shall draw. It's a ghostly red. Wheeler. Well, I think I'm glad I went through all that dismounted because I think we might actually have a little action up here. Um, all right. So your guys are not dismounted, it looks correct. like. That is correct. Oh. If, you know, I could theoretically have gotten drawn a chit. And sweep around your flank, at right. which point you know cavalry charging infantry from or and dismounted cavalry is infantry for this purpose uh, from the rear is pretty is fairly messy. So, all right, so these guys move there. Okay. And let me just keep all moving. Yeah, let me just show the the stream the the, the chits. This is what I've drawn so far, right? And this is what the Confederates have drawn. So three times as many, something like that. And it's not it's not that much of a disparity in the pool. The fact that Wood, who's kind of occupying the kind of the key vulnerable spot that just got pounded on the, on the line here, is is under Crittenden, and was therefore pretty much only ever going to get one chip in the cup per turn, is also not helpful. I love the way your phrasing cracks you up sometimes. The, the understatement of it. I mean, this is a compliment, right? Like it's unhelpful. You know, that's well. it's, it's like not good. You know. Bad. All right. So. There. Well, we're back. Real. I'm really. I'm kind of back to the original you know, statement that I made weeks ago. At this point, which is that in the meeting engagement scenario, you cross the creek and pretty much gather the entire army um, across the creek, and All just right. wait a day or two until everybody's here. So Wharton's brigade is finished moving, and Wharton's okay. brigade shall now fire. So, okay, so not, who is not, firing first? So we're gonna see. So we're gonna start with these guys, um, the southernmost. Okay. Stack here. All right. Who is he They're, firing at? He is going to shoot at uh, your horses. The horses uh, directly across from him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So he's rifles at two hexes, which is a plus one, but you're at minus two for dusk non-adjacent right so Correct. that's a minus one however um 
there is a target is non-phasing mounted cavalry, so that's worth a plus one. So it's a straight up roll. Here we go. An eight. All right, so that's a one little d plus two. Actually fails, so he disorders. Okay. All right. Now the stack that has Wharton in it, it the uh, unit on top is going to shoot at the same guy. Okay. So that's seven. What is he firing with? Oh, hold S. On. Yeah, S. smoothbore muskets. Hold on. Let me look at what the modifier is for that. Uh, that's, those are shotguns, actually. Oh, that is neat. the most Confederate unit on the map. Yes. Um, that is worth a plus three. But its, right, so its it, range is one hex. So it's just straight up. Mm -hmm. Here we go. A ten. Okay, so that's going to be uh, he's, one he's big... Low big. He's right. low ammo. That's right. true. He is low ammo, so we'll... Control shift F. He's going to second disorder from fire, which means he loses another strength point and retreats one to two hexes. Okay. And he, he made his check, right? There's no there's no extra UDD on the fire on the second disorder from fire. It's just oh, so if it's a second right, disorder right. from shock then there's a on top of that there's another UDD that you have to make and if you fail it you will rout. If you um, pass it you will lose a strength point and retreat one to two hexes. All right. So the next guy moving up, right? Mm -hmm. The seven value guy is shooting at your seventh strength guy. Okay, so we're we saying this guy is shooting at this guy? Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's going to be seven plus three. So go ahead and roll. All right. Oh, only a three. That's still... Uh, that's a little... Oh, the, oh, I get a bonus for shooting at the mounted cavalry thing. It is a plus one. Yeah, that's true. That's another plus one. Um, so that's a still a little D, though. Okay, that passes. All right. And you get return. Oh, you can't return fire because you're not dismounted. What? I was saying you should return fire. And then I was like, oh, you're dismounted. And you're not dismounted, so you can't return fire. Correct? I don't think. Let me look at that, but I don't believe that's the case. I absolutely can okay. return fire. I could be completely inaccurate. There's probably a modifier to make your fire worse. No, I don't know. Uh, that's possible. Yeah, there is, actually. It's minus one. Yeah, no, there's no modifier. I can return fire. So it's going to be seven. Uh, C is breech loading carbine. So that's a plus two. But it's a minus one for mounted cavalry firing. So that's a seven. That's a big D. Big D. So they flip. Flip. And then I think... The guys next to him are going to fire at the same guy. Okay. So here we go. So, so they're rifles, free. so that's plus one at one hex. And, but you're mounted cavalry, so it's another plus one. So it's plus two. Here we go. A nine. That's big D. All right. Uh, and I actually can't return fire again. Because it's the same that. brigade activation. Right. So. 
Now we shall move these guys. So is that brigade done? Okay. That brigade is done. Gotcha. Yep. Those guys go there. All right, I can try to react. Okay, that's fine. Okay, if you're going to make that move, I can try to react. Right. With that unit. So let me check that again. That's a uh, nine point. Yeah, he can't react. So All right. it is what it is. The yellows have moved. Okay. So let's let's run with them. So the same guy we were firing at before who's disordered. Uh-huh. The guy furthest to... I bet I could have moved him. In, yeah, I'm going to move him there instead. Um, This guy here with rifles is going to shoot at him. Your seven guy. Okay. He's disordered. So I am, so I got rifles. Four plus but, one plus two, four plus two. Four, pl four plus two, here we go. Six. That's a D plus one, which he fails. So he will lose a strength point. Treat one to two hexes. Okay. All right. The hex with wheel in it. The uh, five value unit with rifles is going to shoot at the. I think it's the second Tennessee cavalry, whoever it is, the four value guy. Yeah. So it's once again, it's so it's rifles plus one. Oh, you know what? I got a shot with that guy. I got a return fire shot. Oh, go uh, ahead. This is a this is a different brigade activation, so I can actually shoot right. again. So let's do it. So it's going to be seven plus one minus one, but it's an eight. Uh, Izzy is seven, actually. He we I was a seven at the time. That's a one little d plus two. One little d plus two. One little d plus two. So let's do the little d plus two first. They made it surprisingly. I'm, I'm stunned. Clone. And they need that needs to go down to. Well, what's going on with all the strength points moving off board? That's me getting more more ready. I've used about fifteen uh, strength point markers so far oh, this, I just this turn. I just I just clone one of yours. Well, that's so fine. That's the, I usually clone them off board. Let's see. Three. Okay. That's that. All right. So the wheeler now is going to shoot at that guy who just returned fire. So we've got rifles and we're shooting. Okay. So the guy that just returned fire is the guy that you shot at with that last shot. So you can oh. shoot at him, but you're two hexes away now. No, we're shooting at the guy adjacent, the four okay. strength guy. Okay, so that's right, right. that guy can return fire too, but let's resolve yours. So you're shooting four with rifles plus one plus another one. So it's four plus No, two. no, no, it's five. Um, oh, so you're talking the guy under Wheeler? 
Yeah, the okay, guy who okay. shot at you was right. All right, right, right. that's the same column, though. So it's, it's still plus okay. two. Right, plus two. Here we go. Ooh, a ten. So he's low ammo. Okay, so, that's so he ten. goes low ammo. That's a one big D. See, that's why I got these out. Okay. I uh, get a return fire, which is going to be a four plus one. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. Is plus two. Um, minus one because I'm cavalry, so it's plus one. So that's an eight. That's actually pretty good. Uh, that's a big D on you. A big D? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Now we're going to shoot that other unit that's there. Shoot him in the flank. So from the, the very last. Okay, so you're, that guy on the very end is now shooting? Yes. Okay. All right, so that is. He has, he has MC. MC is a muzzle-loading carbine. It's plus one at one hex. Okay. And then we get the plus one for you being mounted, and then I'm sure there's something for a flank fire. I'm looking for, that's actually what I'm looking for. Fire table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's plus, plus, another plus one. So it's a plus three. Here we go. Seven. Seven, and you're shooting with five is a D, little d plus two, which he makes. Okay. And then I don't know if we're going to shoot with that other guy. Eh, we ain't going to shoot with that other guy. And then lastly, these guys are just going to ride over here. Last activation. Okay. They're still mounted, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. The way things worked out, I'm glad I kept them mounted. Because I can kind of guard that artillery battery with my... You know what I mean? If you come charging. Mm -hmm. So, and... Uh, that is it for Veeler. You go ahead and draw. Negley. Who is Negley? I always... The gray I guys. Was... Guys over on my right flank. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I moved Breckenridge kind of into position. You could have launched a charge, but I... I eh. uh, well, now I could shoot at Breckenridge, though. So This is true. All right, so... Some, some, some of Breckenridge. The first one... Well, I can also... Well, that's true. They're not under advance orders. Um, all right, no, and, so... And some of my guys are, like, behind a hill, and... Yeah, yeah. All right, so the first shot we're going to take is this uh, Kentucky B battery. Which is three, three th factors of three inch rifles at two hexes. So that's a plus two, but it's a minus two for two hexes. So it's a straight up roll. The target is that 29th or 20th Tennessee. Sharp. Ooh, nine. That's a big D on him. All right. I can return fire. You can. And I think we're going to turn fire with, yeah, with him, actually. So he's an eight. And it's going to be, what, minus two because of the distance? And that's it's, it, right? Uh, rifles at two hexes is plus one. So it's it's a net minus one. Can we use prepared fire? Yes. We shall do that. So that's straight up then. An eight. Okay, so an eight with seven is uh, one little d plus two. Makes it, but he does take the one. Okay.
what else you got from that brigade? Okay, that's it for that brigade. All right. Um, we got the, the red guys, that is Stanley's brigade. We're going to make some right. very small adjustments here and uh, open up with those four factors of three inch rifles. Uh, okay. Three inch rifles. Uh, so it's plus two, minus two for the disc, for the, for the dusk. So that's a nine, though, and that's yeah. four factors at nine is one little D plus two. So little D plus two. I think he's going to not make this. He did not. He did not so, make that. All right. So and he's already art, disrupted. Yeah. Hold on, though. Artillery uh, from fire. Second disrupt. Second disorder is lose a strength point. OK, so he's basically going to lose two strength points. What's going to happen? All right. Yes. All right. We are going to return fire with six. Okay. So if I recall correctly, and we can use prepared fire, it turns, it's what it was last time. It was yeah, a, it's a straight up roll, right? Plus, a nine uh, again. No. All right, so hold on. Um, so it's, uh, they're shooting with rifles. That's a plus... Rifles one. Of two hexes is plus one. Uh, pl prepared fire for another plus one, minus two for dusk. So it's a straight up roll. So it's a nine. So that's going to be. Uh, it's a one big D. Spears' brigade passes. Which ones? What, what the are yellow, they? The red the guy? Yellow, the yellow ones. The red ones the just, just, uh, just took a shot. Uh, let me check something, actually. Hold on. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so Spears uh, passes. You know what? Well, we're actually not going to do that. So give, me, give me a second here. I'm going to move... They're not shooting. They're just moving. All right. And... All right. Anything else for Mr. Negley? No. That is it. Okay. All right. I it's your draw. draw. It is blue. It is wood. Well, I mean, it's, I, I'm almost the entire rem remains of the cup is mine. All well, right. Well, so. I, I actually have a bit in there. But anyway, yeah. You've got uh, some stuff in there. I, I actually looked, but it's not, not that much. All right, so we're going to need to. So who where, is Wood who's been taking the pounding? Yes, for the most All part. Right. You hit uh, Palmer a little bit too, but it was Wood that took it in the shorts really badly. Um, All 
I'm gonna take a little break, man. I'll yeah, go ahead because I got I got to find guys. I believe you have disrupted every single unit of woods. <laughs> well, yeah, that's not true, actually. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll be back. Okay. So pull this back. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. Alright, that's basically it for wood. Uh, there's this brigade, um, Haskell's brigade, that was still fresh, that we have now rushed in to fill that gap that the Confederates blew open. Let me... Um Room's unlocked. Um, it's my thought that we're going to do one or two more uh, chits, but we'll see what Pitt says when he gets back. This is looking pretty bad. I mean, I mean, it all, it all boils down to those first couple of turns where I rushed up uh, with uh, some fairly terrible units. Uh, not really terrible units, but units under an, an inefficient command um, all the way up, as you recall, all the way up here. And then the entire Confederate Army moved in. Um, uh, pretty much all of which, not quite, but a large percentage of which starts on the map, whereas the Union um, starts with nothing on the map and has to move everything in. Um very different um, experience from playing the battle scenario, right? This uh, this approach. I'm going to keep calling it the approach to battle scenario, but um, of this meeting engagement scenario where it's it is a meeting engagement, and um, I think it's going to end up playing ahistorically. Um, I think that's just the way it, it's going to happen. Um, although I didn't exactly, you know, do it spectacularly great job here. Uh, with those first couple of turns but you know a lot of that's you know familiarity with the situation and f uh, familiarity with the scenario and um it's the kind of thing that's uh, that we see a lot in ocs to be honest um as somebody who may be a fairly experienced ocs player 
but who maybe hasn't boned up as well on the specifics of the of the situation that they're playing as much as they could have uh, can sometimes result in that person taking a bath. We have incidentally, since we're talking, since I brought it up, um, we have started Hungarian Rhapsody. Uh, we've played one turn so far. Um, so uh, we're not too super far into it. And it's a relatively long campaign. It's about a four or five, I think five month campaign, something like that. Starts in October of 44 and runs, I think, to March uh, 45. That sounds about right. Um, I definitely have the impression that it will begin as a, a little bit of a slugfest, but um, it will turn into two millstones grinding against each other by about January. Um, yeah, Death Valley, I think, is the best game in the series to learn on, I think, because it has a, such a large selection of smaller battles, which are a lot of which, I mean, it, it takes time to play through these big battles in this system. So, I'm going to rotate this guy there. Uh, but Death Valley is a, it's a wonderful package. It's a, it's a, for one thing, it's a revision of the rules, which I think the rules needed some, some, some presentational cleanup, which uh, it got with that version of the rules. Um, really was long overdue considering the uh, age of the system. Um, and it's, it's just a great package. There's, I think, nine battles in there, but it works out to be something like 11 different battles because you can split a couple of them. And then many of the battles have multiple scenarios. And it's it's got a good range of battle sizes. Uh, you've got the reasonably big, I think, second Winchester. Um, and then you've got some really small, like, half-map scenarios as well. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great package to learn on. It's a great... Another one of these uh, recent uh, things from GMT that's just a really great value package... Um, Men of Iron, the Men of Iron Tri Pack is another one of those. The uh, Battles of the American Revolution Tri Pack is another one of those. The upcoming uh, Musket and Pike Dual Pack is another one of those. So, all right, I'm back. All right, so here's what happened. We pulled up as much out as we could, um, but Haskell's Brigade was, which was fresh. Uh, was able to move in and fill those two hexes, right? So, so we've kind of patched the line there a little bit. Do I get any uh, withdrawal fire from you with that, or no? Oh, you would have actually. Um, pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, uh, take a withdrawal fire shot with the the guys under Polk. Take a withdrawal fire shot at 23rd Indiana under Harker. Okay. So you're at four factors of muskets firing at one hex, which is like a plus three. No, it's a plus two. You can uh, prep fire. We shall. But it's minus... What's the woods? Minus one... Woods is minus one. Yeah. And there's the dawn thing. It's you're firing into it. What is effectively an adjacent hex as they leave it. So that does not. Oh, apply. got it. Okay, got it. All right, here we go. So it's a total with the prep fire and the muskets. It's a what's the total bonus? So it's a plus two. Minus one plus one. All right. So plus two. Here we go. An eight. Okay. That's a one little d plus two. Uh, which he makes because Harker is there. Got He'll it. take yes. another strength point loss. All right. That might have been it. 
Okay. This guy right here, 15th Arkansas. Give right. him a shot against the with retreating or disordered artillery. All right. So I'm disordered. You're disordered. So you're uh, okay. So you're shooting old rifles. Right. So that is a plus one. You're disordered. Right. So you're minus one. Prep um, fire. Prepared. Fi you're. Uh, let me check. You may not be able to. Uh, Claim prepared fire if you're just yeah you you may not use prepared fire if you are disordered. Okay, so it's we've evened out with the minus one plus one. Okay. Yeah, so that's probably it. All right. A five. Five low ammo for him. Uh, and you're firing how many factors? Four. That's a little D. Four. Let's see what happens. He fails, so he will lose a strength point. All right, so I think that covers the withdrawal fire. Okay. Because we actually weren't up. Well, I didn't move in such a way that you were up against us everywhere. All right. All right, go ahead and draw a chit. I and this may be our last chit. I would agree with that statement. It's red. It's Breckenridge. Breckenridge. And do I want to do... Do I want to fatigue him is the question here. And the question... The answer to that is no. So let's save here. All right. And we are still... Let me count... I'm not trying to see what's here. We have something like 12 chits left. All right. And we're still in game turn... 10 near end alrighty then yeah let me look at the drop the uh, what I pulled so far who has I think Cheetah might have one more and Claiborne has a cup as usual, our Hardy's guys have like a lot, but the question is, am I going to do anything with them? That's that's really, like Breckenridge right now. I'm like, mm -hmm. no, I see no point in fatiguing him right now. Eh, to take uh, to take those shots with the minus twos. I mean, right up to you. I, I think it's a you know, I'll return fire all day long. But well, that's it, a little you know. different because then you're getting shot right. at, right? Right. But um, yeah, so all right. So that's that's that. That's that. I think um, I don't know. I think the cavalry stuff up there is kind of interesting. Um, you could run around and do stuff, but you don't have a lot of cav. I was just noticing that. Like going no. me going up, unloading with some shotguns, great. And the uh, I think the real interesting thing is going to be um, so Claiborne's kind of shot is wide. You know, so the question is, what happens, I think, the next hour? But, we, you know, meanwhile, Withers is approach approacheth, you know what I mean? And cheat yeah. him. So it's an interesting, this is an interesting fix. And basically Breckenridge is fresh, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, it, right now I've got two brigades guarding Claiborne's flank, but that, I don't know about the next hour, but maybe the hour after that. I don't think any of that's going to prevent Breckenridge from doing some attacking here soon. So this is, this is, but it's what's happening though is it's kind of like an, a hole that you don't want to stay in up there. Yeah. Where I was hitting you before, although, although I really did hurt Wood bad. I'll say that. Oh yeah, you broke. Well, not broke, but you uh, badly uh, mangled two of the three brigades that he has available. And killed Crittenden, which uh, and killed Crittenden. Crittenden, which is not not a net loss for the Union, to be honest. He, he is, is replaced with a Let leader who is not yeah. worse. Although, yeah, um, and McCook both suck. Yeah, I mean, you lose you lose one rate command range, switch into Palmer, but that also means that. Hold on, hold on, because that. You see, if you see what that means, that means that Palmer gets replaced too. Okay. Oh. Because Palmer is now replaced by Cruft. 
And does Cruft suck? Cruft is not as good as Palmer was. All right. Yeah, poor Crittenden. We took him prisoner. All right, well, that's Which that. Which means Thanks that is, are, there two, for up. are there two friggin' Crufts here? Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, actually, that does mean that Cruft gets replaced as well. Cruft is replaced by g- generic replacement guy. All right, let me who, save who this is, again. Who is Cruft running? Cruft was one of the brigadiers. So, okay, so he replaces ah. Palmer at, in charge of the division, and Palmer replaces Crittenden in charge of the Corps. So you got to kind of pay attention to that when that happens. Yeah. I should have caught that yeah. earlier. All right. Well, so let me sad. save this because we just made an important change. Yeah, All right. Very good. All right. Thanks, everybody, for coming by. Uh, the plan is for us to do, a hot, assuming Pat agrees, a hot, dry season tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern. Yes, and we have no idea what we're doing on Friday. We have no idea what we're doing on Friday. Friday's kind of fallen apart for various reasons uh, the last couple of weeks. Sorry about that. We're trying to get that straightened back out. So, so until then, everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.